Welcome back. It's now 6.09 on your Thursday morning. Carson, you mentioned you had some frost on your windshield wiper. I did. I mean, Second morning in a row. <laughs> I mean, you don't expect just a couple weeks ago we had 75 mm -hmm. degrees and now you're busting out the ice scraper. Yeah, you might want to go to Walmart and get one of those $2 ice scrapers because, I mean, this could be a common occurrence, you know, over the next several days. So. Texas weather, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Texas weather will do that to you. Uh, temperatures right around freezing. Sulphur Springs, Mount Vernon, Pittsburgh, Dangerfield, Naples, all at that freezing mark at the current moment a little further down to the south it is 33 degrees in tyler 30 at east texas regional airport longview texas to the north of i-20 there is three degrees warmer currently clocking in at 33 but look at nacogdoches right now we've got 27 degrees there 29 mount enterprise and for some of our deep east texas counties we are in the 30s for the most part look at st augustine down to 32 degrees picking up a freeze this morning but here is that temperature tracker today. I've got temperatures starting out in the 30s through 9 o'clock. We've got 50s in the forecast early this afternoon, so I do expect temperatures to be slightly warmer than what they were yesterday. Now, a few of you guys are waking up to some cloud cover. This is why we do have a storm system in northeastern New Mexico, which means for our western counties, yeah, we could possibly see a cloud or two, but that long range forecast, kiddos are going to start getting off for Christmas break here pretty soon, and this is what we're expecting warm temperatures across the western United States, average temperatures for us here in East Texas, and it will be cool across the Gulf Coast here in the United States. Of course, that long range forecast as far as precipitation goes, our rain chances are going to be relatively minimal here in the next six to 10 days. Of course, it will be wet along the west and east coast of the U.S. as well. But today, high temperatures will be in the upper 50s. 58 degrees will be our high with mostly sunny skies expected tonight. We get down into the lower 40s with mostly clear skies, not as cold with winds out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And over your next seven days, I've got temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Rain chances do arrive in uh, the forecast for Monday as well. Temperatures will be in the 50s Tuesday and Wednesday. And then as we go into deep east Texas, a similar story. Uh, temperatures will be in the 50s today, 60s Friday and Saturday but a late chance of rain arrives and we could very well hit 70 degrees as we head into Monday there for deep east Texas. It's going to be a nice Saturday though, 66 degrees. Yeah, you were telling me earlier, you're ready to go out there and catch some fish. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Saturday looks like the perfect day to yeah. do it. What are you going to be doing Saturday? Maybe read a book outside, I don't know. Oh, nice. Or to maybe do some tailgating as well. Oh, yeah. Whatever works. Yeah, tailgating, <laughs> running, whatever. Anything. <laughs> fish do. Just fish. get outside. That's <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Outdoor weather. That's, Thank yeah. Thank you very much, Carl.